Ellen E here with Las Vegas Sports Network, and I'm here at Centennial High School being joined by head football coach Dustin Forshee. Now, before I kind of get started and talk to you about your team, I have to say congratulations. It's your first year as the head coach here. How does it feel? It uh, feels great. It's something that I think I've kind of been working towards, um, and timing just kind of worked out, me being here and, and Coach Evans resigning, and um, it's fantastic. I love it. It's a lot of hours, but it's worth it. Now, this is your uh, third year here at Centennial. Um, what kind of culture do you hope you know to develop and bring uh, with the team? Uh, Centennial's always had a good um, reputation of having having a lot of fans at the games. Um, I kind of want to expand on that. You know, we want to make it some place where you know opposing teams hate to come to because we had our dog pound there on Friday nights. Um, it's one of those things that I think can really help um, build momentum throughout the school year. And, and throughout the, the, the football season as well. So that's what we're hoping, just you know, having fans be there, being exciting, being the place to be on Friday nights. Yes, absolutely. And then also, I do know you were a former UNLV offensive lineman. I mean, do you think um, having that knowledge and being a former player here not only helps, you know, you coach and your team kind of relate, you know, better in ways? Absolutely. Um, you know, I love playing at UNLV, and, and we always talk, to the, the kids about you know what it takes to play at the next level and um, you know honestly I was an average college player but uh, you know I still got to play at the next level and, and you kind of know what it takes to get there and so to kind of help relate that to the kids and understand plus it helps to to kind of get coaches you know I got a lot of guys on staff that had played at UNLV um, I got three former players um, that played at UNLV with me and uh, or one played with me and one played a little before me but uh, it helps to kind of build that and get guys here and, and also you know to to get them excited about UNLV because I talk about it a little bit too. Yes and, well and there's a lot happening there and with the Raiders coming soon I'm sure you're excited for that or? Absolutely I mean anything you can do to 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 make football more exciting, especially in a town like Vegas that has not had a pro franchise, and now we're getting two, and one of them being football, the biggest sport in the United States, uh, most watched sport. Um, it, it brings a, a level of excitement, and plus we hope that you know the Raiders want to give back to the community and, and help grow football here in, in Las Vegas as well, because there's a lot of talent here and a lot of players, and just to kind of help get them recognized, it would be a, a good thing as well. And speaking of talent here at Centennial, I know you do have a relatively young team, but can you talk a bit about some of the talent um, and who you expect to kind of step up into that leadership role this year? One, uh, our most fortunate that we're, we have a, a great quarterback in Vladimir Polotnikov. And he's been a kid who he played for our junior Bulldog program. He was here his freshman, sophomore, junior year. And, and he's kind of been waiting to be in the spotlight to play quarterback. You know, we had a phenomenal quarterback last year with Jamal Evans, who's up at Utah State right now. And Vlad has really kind of, since he's taken really the job in spring, has become a great leader, um, uh, doing the things that he needs to do, getting kids together, you know, getting the group chats and, and make sure we're on a positive. Uh, uh, a page has been great um, defensively we've had some young kids step up we've also had some kids from last year Joseph Ahern he's come in and, and done a great job of getting in the weight room and getting the kids excited about that Max Barnes as well and we've been having some of the, some of the younger kids uh, some of the juniors that have stepped up um, Tyler Fujimoto has done a great job Camden Garrett Devon Walden uh, on the defensive side offensive side you know we we return a few offensive linemen, which is which is a good thing for us. So to have a couple of those guys, Aiden Castillo and um, and Luis Rivas, to kind of again build that, and from the spring to the summer to now, it's been great. And speaking of uh, the summer and kind of having it wind down, I do know uh, you and your team. You guys went to Boise. Can you talk about that experience? They did a great job. It was one of the better camps that I've been to. Um, just the competition, a lot of different teams. And we like to travel and, and try to play teams, especially in the summer, that are not from Vegas. So there was only two other Vegas teams up there, Legacy and Bishop Gorman. But other than that, there were 18 other football teams from different states, from different countries. You know, we had a Canadian team up there. Uh, so it was good to have 
that different type of talent for our kids to see the other type of football players that are around the U.S. Um, and kind of see to how they match up and where they can be. Um, it was great. It was also nice to get out of the heat. You know, it's a little bit cooler. It was about 75, 80 degrees high up there. So it was nice to kind of get up. And plus, it's a great facility. Who doesn't want to be on the blue turf? You know, it was one of the one of the really cool things to be up there for that as well. And with Gorman there, though, I mean, what did you guys learn from that? We learned that it, you just don't show up to play football. You know, Gorman does a great job. They work out, you know, 12 months out of the year. You know, it's, it's serious for them. So it shows our kids, hey, man, if you want to be at that level, you got to put in the work. It just doesn't – you just don't wake up and all of a sudden you become a Gorman. No, you you got to put in – you know, we always say you win games in January, February, March, you know. So that's another thing that we try to build. And, again, seeing Gorman up there is good. And, you know, they do a good job. They're, they're you know, they're coached very well and they run their program very well. So it's good to see that. And you guys open uh, with a game against Foothill. Can you talk about how you feel, you know, about that game coming up? We're excited about it. I mean, we're just across town, so we're driving over there, which is it's it's good because we scrimmage basic, so it gives us kind of a sense of being on a long bus ride. But Foothill's a great program. Coach Redmond over there has done a great job, and you know, I got to battle him quite a bit at uh, when I was at Coronado for three years. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how it's changed. They've changed a little bit in the last three years, and one of the guys who mentored me, Brad Talich, who was my head coach at Coronado he's over there on their defense so it'll be good to kind of see them uh, and then like I said just see how football is because it is different from each side of the town you know the east side is a little bit different than football on the west side you know they like to throw it out a little bit they like to pound it out on this side so on the ground so and what about the uh, Arbor View rivalry you know, it, uh, every every year we got a rivalry. Every game, you know, every team's got a rivalry. I'll use ours. You know, they've had our number the last few years. I mean, that's always going to be our goal. You know, our goal is always going to be to to win the division. And the last five years, six years, the division's gone through them. So that's always going to be something that we try to emphasize. You know, we want to try to beat our review because there's the standard in our division on our side of town, them and Gorman. Um, so. You know, it's just like any other rivalry game. You get up for it, you get excited for it, but you try to have the kids understand too. Hey, it's just another game. You know, go out there, do your assignments. The team is going to make less mistakes. Is a lot of times going to win. Uh, so you know, we look forward to that. And this year, it's on TV, which is even even better. It's going to bring a bigger, uh, I think, a bigger more audience. Pressure. Exactly. I think so. A little more pressure. But every time you play Arbor View, play a rival like that, there's a lot of pressure. So whether it's on TV, whether it's not on TV, we're going to go out there and try to play. You know, play the game that we play. And it will be important for the fans to show up. Lastly, what would you like to tell the uh, Centennial fans? You know, and I know our quarterback put this out there a lot on Twitter. So the young, younger kids that are kind of watching, you know, we, we need the dog pound there. You know, we need the dog pound at our home games. We need the dog pound at our away games. You know, like I said, it, it, it's not a home game if we have as many fans there as they do. So if we can take that home field advantage away from any team, not just our review, but any team, you know, it's not like we don't play any away games. We play all home games. So that's the big thing is make sure we come out, you know, support the team because, believe it or not, the fans mean more than what you think they mean. Um, it just makes it way more fun to play in front of a, a crowd of people. So, Yeah, well, the season is coming up and approaching quick. Um, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations once again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.